In this example, I need to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept of 3x plus 5y equals negative 15. Then I need to graph the equation using these intercepts. So the first thing I need to do is find the x-intercept. How do we find the x-intercept? We do it by setting y equal to 0. So I'm going to substitute y equals 0 into the equation of my line. So I'm going to get 3x plus 5 times what's y? 0 equals negative 15. Simple linear equation, 5 times 0 is 0, 3x plus 0 is just 3x. So I get 3x equals negative 15. Divide both sides by 3. And I get x equals negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. So the x-intercept is the point where x equals negative 5 and y equals 0. So graphing that point, x equals negative 5 means go 5 to the left, y equals 0, go nowhere in the y direction. So there's my x-intercept. Next, I need to find the y-intercept. So quickly reviewing, how do we find the y-intercept? You set x equal to 0 in this equation. So you're going to get 3 times x, which is 0, plus 5y equals negative 15. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 5y is just 5y. So I have 5y equals negative 15. Divide both sides by 5 and I get y equals negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. So the coordinates of the y-intercept, x is 0 and y is negative 3. So plotting that point, starting at the origin, x is 0, go nowhere in the x direction, y is negative 3, go down 3 in the y direction. So here is my y-intercept, and I could immediately draw the line going through those two points, but I prefer to get a third checkpoint, then I know my arithmetic is correct. Does it matter which checkpoint you pick? No. I try and avoid fractions. So what I do, since my x-intercept was 5 units to the left of the origin, I'm going to pick an x value 5 units to the right. So I'm going to plug x equals 5 into the original equation and solve it for y. So I get 3 times x, which is 5, plus 5y, equals negative 15. 3 times 5 is 15, so 15 plus 5y equals negative 15. Isolate 5y by subtracting 15 from both sides of the equation. I get 5y equals negative 15 added to negative 15 is negative 30. Divide both sides by 5, and that is going to give me, once I've reduced the 5s, y equals negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. So my checkpoint, x is 5, and y is negative 6. So graphing that point, x is 5, y is negative 6, is down there. Now, do these points look like they lie on a straight line? Yes. So let me try and sketch it in quickly. Hopefully I go through my points. That looks like about as good as it's going to get. And don't forget, you need to put arrows on both ends of your line. So now I have found the x-intercept, the y-intercept, 
and graph the equation using the intercepts and a third checkpoint.